So now we will move on to our fifth presentation by Dr. Mika Nakano. Uh, she will talk about four-layered question approach to discuss social problems in Japan for STEAM literacy, a case of the declining birth rate and aging society. So let's welcome Dr. Nakano. Hello, my name is Mika Nakano from Japan, Fukuoka Institute of Technology. I'd like to talk about a four-layered question approach to discuss social problems in Japan for STEAM literacy, a case of the declining birth rate and aging society. And my special field is communication studies and educational psychology. So I'd like to talk about how, to, how we made a discussion program for uh, college students. Uh, this is agenda, introduction, uh, what's the four-layered question, method, result, and discussion, and conclusion. Uh, recently, higher education within Japan has been changing its teaching methods, encouraging a more interactive, interdisciplinary approach called active learning. STEAM offers a potential solution to provide students with fulfilled learning by acquiring knowledge, discuss, discussing with others, and appreciating the values of others as well as their own. They need to broaden their perspectives in order to acquire various knowledge to obtain increased future prospects in the world where they live. This paper aims to introduce the method of four-step questioning to discuss social problems for developing STEAM literacy, focusing on the theme, the declining birth rate and aging society, which is the critical issue for maintaining and rebuilding the social structure. Uh, what's the four-layered question? At the Fukuoka Institute of Technology, the new curriculum for liberal arts started in April 2018, taking an interdisciplinary approach with five professors. Its core subject, knowledge and liberal arts, is open to all the three majors, engineering, information engineering, and socio-environmental studies. In this subject, students acquire knowledge and discuss numerous problems which Japan currently faces. For example, uh, the declining birth rate in aging society, gender, race, international society, discovering myself, etc. Uh, this is a picture. They gather by a small group and talk and discuss on the theme. And we, uh, we separate uh, 15 classes in one semester, and each one 19 minutes. We're divided into the three periods, first basic and application and development. Uh, 327 students took this class uh, April semester in 2018 and learned by small group. Students can acquire others' viewpoints through discussion on present social problems. And this is a time schedule uh, from one week to 15th week and basic application de development. And the first two, uh, first two weeks, I mean one week and second week, uh, a whole in the whole. And after uh, basic period, in the application period, uh, there are four rooms room one, room two, room three, room four. So students were divided into four rooms. And four professors uh, um, teach, uh, taught that each theme. So for example, me, uh, Nakano, uh, for third week, for fourth week, I taught in room number one. And in the fifth week and sixth week, I moved to room number two. Uh, this is the schedule of the um, subject. And after the application period, the development, uh, there are final presentation in 14th uh, week, uh, pre uh, preparation uh, presentation and fifth, uh, fifth 
fifteenth week poster presentation, and this is this was open to all staff and professors in college. And this is the four laid question uh, from easy peripheral questions to the heart of the matter. And in one class, I mean 19, 19 minutes, uh, there are three periods, one basic knowledge to understand general description of a problem, and second, a case study to understand a specific issue for precise analysis, and third, uh, forming opinion to explore a subject of interest and form opinion. So I made a four layered question. First, question one, question two, question three, question four. I like to explain each by each. So first question, whether they are interested in it. <laughs> this is a very important question. Um, through discussion of the topic, the declining birth rate and aging society, students were asked the four layered question. And I'm sorry to <laughs> see that, yes, <laughs> around 10 to 20 percent, no, <laughs> 80 to 90 percent. This is the uh, present situation of Japanese college students. But they gradually changed their mind and attitude toward this uh, topic, uh, gradually, I mean, discussing with others. And second question is, um, the quiz, short quiz, the percentage of the elderly people of the total population in Japan, the birth rate of Japan, the uh, proportional number of the birth rate in Japan in world terms. And they, their answers are um, various, various answers, but uh, about the first question, around 20%, this is um, almost correct, uh, now 28.1%. This is the answer. And the third, uh, second question, the birth rate of Japan, uh, around one, one point, one, one. And the answer is 1.43. So the answer not so different from the uh, data. And the third question, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say that this is, I, I, made, I made a mistake. And the answer is 184 out of 205 countries. So uh, a little bit uh, not good, not good situation. And gradually they recognize the gap of their knowledge and the data. And this is the picture in the class. So they write the answer in the whiteboard. And the third question, what we can do to create a better future? This is a very important problem because we can create uh, each good answer to create a better future. So there are various answers from students, even though they answer that they are not interested <laughs> in this theme. Um, example, economical support for family with two more children and both for working and parenting, etc. This is the main answers from the students. And these are the pictures. Uh, this is the final presentation. They make a poster. Uh, they mainly use PowerPoint and print and uh, put on the window. And sometimes they make a circle to listen to a presentation and sometimes synchronize the uh, gestures to a discussion. This means that they, you know, uh, communicate deeply. And the last question, fourth question is, what your opinion on this problem? Uh, this is the summary, summary of this theme. And the student's answers uh, are this is very imp important and interesting for me that uh, there are three majors in my institute. And as I said before, engineering, information engineering, and humanities. And their answers differ from the interest field, field of interest. So uh, when we share the answers, uh, we recognize the difference between the knowledge and interest field. I think this is a very important point of this discussion program. So this is, uh, I'm sorry for Japanese, but they write a whiteboard. 
And I'd like to talk about uh, result and discussion. Before that, I'd like to mention method to examine the effect of the course to online questionnaire researches were conducted. Uh, first questionnaire for all the course in our institute. Uh, I'd like to mention a degree of the satisfaction. And the second uh, data is for original questionnaire. Uh, this is about skills and ability, I mean the taint of skills and ability. On the first questionnaire, uh, four point scale and response rate is as shown here. And there are three classes, Monday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. And you can see that uh, relatively higher point, even though this is the first year, the first curriculum. Because uh, in, my, in my experience, uh, the subject of first year uh, sometimes below 3.2 point or something like that. So this is very high and we are very uh, surprised to see the result of the uh, questionnaire. And the second questionnaire, the second result is, uh, this is the change before and after the course. The number is 206 students, and the blue disagree, two uh, red agree. So as you can see, we can't see the blue, <laughs> and uh, very short <laughs> agreeing. So this, this means that they recognize a the change of them, their self because they uh, raise their hands at the first well, I'm not interested in this topic at all, but they, by uh, as, um, answering four questions, they match into the theme and discuss and think. And please see the top thinking ability. This is very uh, top, a top answer. And about seven scrutinized information and the fifth, research information. Uh, there are none, none of the students uh, answer, uh, disagree. So uh, although the majority of the students didn't realize the seriousness of the issue at first, by the end of this class, they state their opinion using data, stating not only the present problem, but how also to potentially solve the problem. This method helped students to gradually access the heart of the matter from a peripheral stance, express their own ideas, and thus acquire self-confidence in learning. In conclusion, after the course, the students are able to gather more information and, and express their opinion confidently. It indicates that the method is effective for constructing knowledge by themselves being self-confident in learning and can be applied to various topics. However, whether the students continue to learn outside the course or not is not, is not tested by a follow-up assessment, follow-up study is therefore needed in the future. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Nakano. Q&A time, any questions, please enter into the platform. Maybe a bit of a technical issue because I am still refreshing my screen on the, the question, so uh, please be a bit patient. Uh, the, I see some question now. Okay, so uh, one of them is um, 
uh, Dr. Nakano. So how do you think that, um, that uh, for the it stops. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, it comes back now. So how do you think the, the method that you mentioned here can be applied to other countries while Jap Japanese culture may be a bit different from other countries? Oh. Thank you for your question. I think it can be applied to other countries, but I'd like to mention the Japanese situation first. Uh, in the class, in, especially in higher, higher education, uh, they don't ask questions at all in the class, and in making group, it's very difficult for them to open their mind <laughs> and say something to others, especially in, in interdisciplinary uh, field. So in those situations, I think this method is very uh, effective because I ask questions, so they need to ask, <laughs> uh, they need answer, <laughs> they need to answer. Uh, this is kind of um, one step to, to discuss and say something and deepening their uh, opinion. And if, if, you're, if in your country, uh, if you have some difficulties to make um, a discussion better one, and if people are not um, good at say something to others, it can be good uh, a method for especially for discussing uh, problem or not uh, present uh, present social problem, I think. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, one other question: uh, How do you see the future of STEAM education in Japan? Let's say in five years' time. Oh. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, actually, STEAM is not so well known in Japan, I think, um, and uh, much, much, uh, I have to say that interdisciplinary approach is really uh, new, very new in Japan, so uh, the reason why I, I participated in this conference is that I, I'm, my special field is communication studies, but I now work in the Fukuoka, Insti uh, um, uh, Fukuoka Institute of Technology. That's why I originally uh, interested in the interdisciplinary approach. So I like to explain and I, I'd like to study more about STEAM and I want to have uh, chance to share the importance of STEAM in Japan more, okay? <laughs> we do have time for one more question. So how do you respond when students are already not interested in the topic? <laughs> Would the questions be effective? Okay, thank you. Thank you for your question. Okay, so um, uh, actually, I, I my face is a, a little bit sad. <laughs> that must be oh, oh, um, eighty percent, more than eighty percent of the students raised their hands. But I say that uh, it's okay because you will change your mind and you will change your attitude after this course. I mean, ninety, ninety minutes later. So they prepare for change of their mind. Uh, otherwise, they once state their opinion, they tend to um, stuck and st stop to think more and re refuse to uh, change to change their mind. So I think it's very important that say, oh, it's okay, and you would change your mind if you uh, have knowledge and data. Thank you, Dr. Nakano. Thank you very much.